Back for another Dokkan battle video. Oh, I forgot. God damn it. I forgot again. I forgot to play Bardock's intro. It's not too big of a deal. Okay. So, yeah, in this one, we're going again for an easy a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Rainbow level telling showcase. This time we're up against Red Zone Broly. Again, we are doing this through the lens of a private server using a double tech Bardock leader skill. So, the showcase unit in question, this guy, is getting the 200%. So, uh, let's, let's do this. This is uh, predominantly the same team as last time. I say as last time, but as yesterday's video. I think we took him into Cell Max yesterday. The only difference, though, is that we are... Let's do the... Yeah, let's do that. The only difference, of course, is I've taken into UI Goku out and I've put AGL Kid Gohan in. I think AGL Kid Gohan will definitely help in the AoE phase. And he will also help with just his general support, right? So I'm, I'm really hoping that we can uh, get through this Red Zone Brawler stage without too many issues. And I think for the most part, we'll be fine. Here's the thing. We have, of course, one of the Bardocks in turn two. So ideally, we want to try and get to the AGL Broly phase within, like, I don't know, turn, turn five or turn six, right? Just to have at least one or two turns of the Scout Reactor. But the way I've built the team, I don't really know if we can outright die, right, from that final phase Bardock. Okay. Uh, ooh. I think we're going to use this guy as a floater because Kano Goku is just so reliable in slot one, right? We'll have Kano Goku operating on this rotation in slot one. And the other rotation will be um, Tech God Goku, right? Operating that slot one run. I think we'll be fine for the most part. Remember, Tech Bardock's leader skill is very good. It's, it's funny. I remember I'm my words. When Bardock's details were announced, I, I was really hoping that he would get like a Team Bardock 200% leader skill or something like that, and they would give us a whole host of buffs for this celebration. But let's just be honest, they I don't say they've kind of made this celebration weak intentionally, but they have not given us as many Bardock buffs as I would have liked them to. So I think I'm actually glad that they decided to go with this leader skill instead because Goku's family and pure Saiyans is such a strong leader skill. I mean, I could have bought, for example, the Dokkan Fest Path to Power Kid Goku if I wanted to. Maybe I should have, right? I just thought for the showcase. We just tried to see what Bardock's defense could look like with as much support as possible. Hence why I bought the Super Saiyan Bardock as well as Age of Kid Gohan here. Okay, so we still have the Scout. There are no super attacks in slot one. However, yeah, I don't like 169k defense. I don't think that's good enough. So we are going to do this. Yeah, okay. I just take a look at the team build as well. I really don't think there's... Yeah, there is no other power beyond Super Saiyan unit on this team. So we have to... Uh, we are forced to link Bardock up with God Goku. I, I swear I could have put another... I, I, I feel like I did. Who else? I, I, I think in my original run, I was going to put LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the team, and I decided against it just for the support part. Again, it is what it is. Oh, okay. He didn't finish uh, Broly off. So we get to see at least one attack stat. 7.2. That's fine. I mean, again, that's a double super attack coming Broly's way. So offense is very good. And we got the crit as well. Of course, we are able to seal him in this first phase. Okay, where are you going to super attack, Broly? Please don't be in slot three. No super attacks at all. Okay. Interesting. I'm just going to keep uh, Carnival Goku in slot one, though. There's no need to uh, endanger one of the Bardocks, right? Uh, you're at 229. I believe then you're going to be at a much higher defensive level. Uh, well, oh, never mind. They're both at 229. Okay. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Okay, we can only get a max of two two rainbow keys for so we'll just go with that. It's turn four, so we have we only have like three more turns left of his scouter. I don't know if we're gonna actually no, we should be good. Yeah, because next rotation will be very powerful for, for Bardock. We have the support, they have the first awaken activated, so looks like we'll uh we'll go into the AoE Broly phase into what turn six? Yeah, turn six. Looks like we'll be in that AoE Broly phase. I'm just trying to go as quick as possible, but again, this it can be difficult if we're not running like an out and out. That's an offensive team build here. Okay, there is a super attack. Again, I would love to do this, but... Uh that's a no that's a that's a no bueno. 151? I don't think so. So we'll just keep it like this. We'll give this to Super Saiyan 3 bar. Like in terms of links that we have activated in slot 2, we have Super Saiyan PFB, the first awakened over in a flash and first battle. Bardock's start of turn defense is 165k. 
Uh, in terms of buffs from Link, let me have a look. So with Tech God Goku, we have Super Saiyan over in a flash, PFB Fierce Battle, which gives us 47% attack, 5% defense, and then 5 key. But with the first Awakened being activated, uh, what is that? That's an extra 25% attack and then 10% defense. So we're getting 73% attack, 15% defense? Yeah, 15% defense and then 5 key. Okay. And let's do this. Yeah. Uh, remember the Super Saiyan Bardock, who is a floater post EZA, is also a support unit. He does give all allies 2 key and then 30% attack and defense. So Bardock is probably going to be around 9 to 10 million. It might be 10 million. Yeah, of course. Tech God Goku, my goat. A very reliable unit. Oh, we could just die, actually. I just realized if, uh, if AoE Broly super attacks us... If he super attacks us in slot 1 before we're able to attack, we are probably dead. Just because I really want Bardock to get that super attack off. 9.45. Again, this is pretty good damage considering that a, a double super attack is coming our way. And again, uh, post super attack defense, if it was 100, 165,000, which is what I think it was to my recollection, post super attack defense would be 528,000. So that's very good defensively. Very good defense. Considering how good his offense is. Okay. Oh, we're good. We, I mean, there is a super attack, right? So, like, this does suck. Oh, Kid Gohan's not going to get a super attack off. No, no, no! The rainbow orb changing! We're not going to get the extra stats. That sucks. I... God damn it. it it's fine. I think we... I think we're fine either way. I think we are. Bardock, I think this is his third super attack, so his final percentage will kick in. He also gets, remember, 50% on super. The defense should be close to, like, 800k here. Oh, if that was, oh, if that was an additional super attack, we would have definitely lived this turn. Carnival Goku will also get a stack, and I'm just hoping that the first attack is not a super attack from Broly here. Because that way we, we, get the, we get the extra 59% defense, so we should be cooking at that point. Okay, for a second I thought that was a super attack, but he's giving me an additional super, that's fine. I mean, Kanemo Goku's 12 key super attack effect is fine. I believe it's just a 50% attack raise for the turn. It's not the craziest thing, but I suppose it helps for damage. Okay, yeah, we're good. I think we're fine. Kid Gohan may actually take like 300k, but we everyone else should be good here. Everyone else should be golden. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw Bardock take 320, I was like, that's a bit more than I expected. I was expecting like 230 or like 250 or something. Yeah, we, we're good though. We, we should be good. Yeah, we are just about, okay, wow. Any super attacks? It is turn seven. So, I'm un I'm unsure whether we have, I'm, un oh, I'm unsure whether we have the, the scouter up. We do have a sensor beam, so I will just go ahead and pop it, right? Uh, I'm just going to pop Bardock's active skill as well. Some decent damage in there, okay. Right, so... I want the two Rainbow Keys for God Goku. Let's do this for Super Saiyan 3, and then I will go ahead and pop a sensor beam. Just to ensure that uh, we're... There's no chance of me dying. Again, we can just grab the two Rainbow Keys first, and that will be sufficient. Because Bardock, the tech Dokkan Fest Bardock, is guaranteed to perform crits this entire turn. Or this entire rotation. Or it's the same thing, right? Entire rotation, entire turn. It doesn't really matter. Okay, no super attacks thus far. I'm just... I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Broly to launch that goddamn AoE. Give me a crit, please. No crit. Okay. Well, we should finish him off anyway. Yeah, double digits. I mean, that's that's fine. I, I think this guy will finish him off here. Pow! Take that. Yeah, I do really like Bardock's animations. I also like the, I like, I like the switch up in the community right now. After like, uh, who would have thunk it, guys? After a few seconds of rational thinking, people are now deducing that this Bardock is actually a pretty good Dokkan Fest. Who would have thunk it? Like, people are very quick to just jump on units. I, I, I was saying this from the start. Bardock seemed to be like a top four Dokkan Fest very easily, right? Definitely up there. I, I don't say definitely up there because I feel like the Gammas and Kid Goku have kind of created a tier of their own. 
but he definitely is like I think right there right just at number four I think maybe above Ginyu above Pan uh oh what is this what is that defense oh we're good we're good we're good yeah we're good we're good oh 410 <laughs> Okay, it's been a very long time since I've even used Carnival Goku, right? Like, my own Carnival Goku is 55%, so... To see this guy, like, rocking a, a almost... Uh, probably either going to be a 500k defensive stat, right? After he gets that defensive buff. Wait, holy smokes, it's going to be a lot higher, is it not? He was at 410, was he not? So, yeah, like, post... Uh, he's at, like, above 650 here. Because he also got the 18 key. Surely this does, like, double digits or something. He still did a bit of damage, wow. Okay, so we would probably need one more stack until he's at the double digit level. 9.2 from Bardock, pretty impressive. We do have the support though, remember from the Super Saiyan Bardock. This could have been like an easy night on run if we... If we got lucky with the super attack, I think. And we kind of did actually, no, 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 we did. It's just, again, this team I wouldn't say is the most conducive for an item run. Alright, now we're good. We're still fine. We're fine. We're fine. We have God. We have God. We have God. Chill. We have God. We have God. We're good. We should be good. Yeah, we're good. Oh, this this Bardock, bro. This Bardock is very good. I think. See, like, I was under the impression that he will remain good as a floater. So not as a floater, as a slot one unit. But as it's turned out, the two percent Bardock will be very impressive as a floater. The support is impressive. The fifty percent defense on super is impressive. The seal is good. But the reason why he won't go into slot one is because. That first hit he needs for his guard, and then he needs another hit to get that extra 30% defense. That extra 30% defense is multiplicative, so it's going to be very impactful. Oh, Kid Gohan's active. Yeah, sure, we can just see um, SS3 Bardock with a bit of extra defense. So, again, it's just the same falling's active, but remember, Kid Gohan's um, active skill buff is 20%. Yeah, it, it raises allies or, or allies defense by 20% for two turns. I'm actually going to play this. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've actually listened to this one, so I'm going to just quickly play this one right here. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I, I'm a big I can't, I'm a big fan of Kid Gohan's like active skill in OSD. I think it does sound really, really cool. So, uh, Bardock's starter turn defense is now 203, huh? So 203 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1.6 is 649. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then I'll give the Age of Keys Spheres to Gohan, who will be guarding. I suppose I could have even left Gohan in slot 1. He does guard on this turn, remember. Oh, okay. T Tech God Goku is impervious to damage at this point. I wonder, actually, if I should maybe come back and take a look at Super Saiyan through Bardock on a full power beyond Super Saiyan team, right? Because if we're able to have him on rotation with the LR gods, I feel like his 50% attack support is really going to greatly influx their their overall damage, their overall output. It would be pretty insane. But at that point, I think we're predominantly using him as a floater, right? Because I wouldn't say the LR gods are a slot one unit. I wouldn't say Bardock is a slot one unit, but that's fine. I think even as a floater, this guy is very, very powerful. Yeah, double digits, of course, now with uh, Gohan support. Wow, he didn't super attack at all. Okay, but fair enough. I mean, that works out for me, right? Okay. Oh, we got the double uh, double Bardock rotation, huh? I mean, we could do this. It's not like we, like both Bardocks are still very good defensively. Make sure to grab the two Rainbow Key Spheres. Actually, you know what, guys? That might have been a bit of a mistake, just because I. I want to try and see what uh, in Super Saiyan through Bardock looks like without support, but I'm going to be honest, I think even without the extra support, he will be at a level where he's tanking double digits. I will refrain from clicking the Dokkan nodes or the nodes here, just because I don't want to... I, I don't want to finish Broly off here in this turn, although, like, a double, a normal tech rotation, like this tech Bardock, is the kind of a Goku Dokkan mode, uh, he's... Uh, we might just kill him. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, it's, we're good. I, I think... The Bardocks, even if they both double super attack, will not be an issue at all. Oh, well, there was a global data download today. I mean... I don't know. I Global data... Like... 
Like, what would, would there have been anything like important in that global data download? Probably not, right? I mean, to be fair, people really shouldn't even be summoning for uh, for the RF Blue Duo. No, no way. Oh, oh, we got we got support again. Shall I shall I do this just for science? We're not going to get over in a flash activated, but over in a flash is an offensive link anyway. Just to get a bit of a before and after, because I don't think Broly will super attack in slot one. In slot, uh, I say in slot one, but before we attack. Nah, so he's like, something is, my, my sixth sense is telling me don't do that. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to do this. We'll do this. And then we'll give the Super Saiyan Bardock whatever. Again, start of turn defense is still the same, 165. I think I'm actually going to clip that. I... Yeah, I'm going to clip. I'll probably make that into it today's YouTube short. If you guys uh, aren't aware, I'm just trying to upload a short because I, I I understand that the engagement level is quite high for shorts, right, compared to my normal videos. So I just want to try and see what kind of attention the shorts garner. But yeah, like I definitely will clip, clip that clip, right? Clip that clip. I'll definitely clip that from this showcase, right? The, the Super Saiyan Bar like, taking an Omega super attack for like 200k is very impressive considering we also didn't have our extra 30% defensive buff activated. By the way, if Bardock double supers, we could be finished with this event. I said double supers, but if he crits, more, more so if he... Not double supers, if he crits, right? Everyone knows he's going to double super attack anyway. Oh, he crit. Okay, well, guys, that'll be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, Bardock is good, right? I understand he could probably take a lot of damage from a super attack, but... There's a pretty clean run. I know we had to pop a sensor beam, but... Uh, it is what it is. Again, AoE Broly can still be very, very annoying. That AoE, remember, is dealing roughly, I think it's 800,000 damage to everyone on rotation, right? And you have to apply modifiers and stuff. So with like type modifiers for super class type neutral units, you're looking at a modifier, which then puts the overall SA value at, um, close to a million. So yeah, uh, otherwise it's a pretty clean run. Thank you guys for watching. Let me guys think of Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.